We're here in Lapland, in the Swedish town of Arieplog, just below the Arctic Circle. We're testing the BMW M models here under Arctic conditions. Today we have an outdoor temperature of minus 35 degrees. The best test conditions. We tune all relevant driving dynamic systems to an extremely low degree of friction. The aim is to get most out of the control systems to achieve optimum driving performance with maximum controllability. We received the first prototypes about three years before the start of series production. The development of the chassis takes about two years to complete. What makes the BMW X5M particularly unique for me is its potential for high driving dynamics. What is also unique for a vehicle in this class is its incredibly high longitudinal dynamics. The best thing about the new 8-speed M Steptronic transmission is its short shift times. This makes it possible to shift gears without interrupting the car's traction. The M2CS represents higher suitability for racing, more performance and an uncompromising orientation towards the track. In short, significantly more motorsport in a road legal vehicle. When testing on icy surfaces, our main focus is on tuning the traction control. We want to make sure that maximum stability, as well as maximum traction, is available at all times in order to guarantee a controllable vehicle in every driving situation. The vehicle must be easy to drive and have a wide range of limits to which all electronic systems must be tuned. When it reaches the dynamic limit, I have to drive a little more sensitively. We've just found a point that we want to take a closer look at. With the CS models, we want to give our customers pure, unadulterated driving by offering for the first time the M2 CS with a manual gearbox. You can shift back during the drift. The driver can control the car and even shift up a gear and then drift even faster. Simply counter steer, even with just one hand, for a comfortable ride. That's what we want. Driving pleasure and controllability par excellence. On this large circle we have two different icy surfaces. On the inside there's a polished ice surface. Further out the ice is roughened to give it a higher coefficient degree of friction. The main objective is to keep the vehicle stable and travelling in the direction the driver wants. It's just incredible. We worked all week on our different test tracks on the lake. Now we're checking the setup on an overland track on realistic road conditions. We're here at Akunolke, a mountain in Sweden. Here we tune the vehicles specifically to mountain conditions. We all know how the winter is in the Bavarian Alps and of course we want to enable our customers to reach their ski lodge with the best performance. From the Arctic Circle we travelled to the Eiffel. We're now at the BMW test centre in the heart of Nürburg. In Arjeplog we took care of dynamics in low friction conditions. Here we do the same with high friction conditions. On the 
winding Eiffel roads, the lightweight construction components of the M2CS are immediately noticeable. The vehicle has a CFRP bonnet, a CFRP centre console and a CFRP sandwich roof. On this very narrow road, the body structure feels wonderfully controlled and the front axle responds immediately to every steering input. The steering and the entire vehicle feels like a precisely guided samurai sword. In a car like the M2CS, if you turn off the control system, the car is still predictable and good-natured. You step on the gas and the vehicle breaks out smoothly, but you can get it back very easily too. You drive the car rather than it drives you. That's very, very important to us. Another important component in the development of driving dynamics is the tyre. The M2CS has an exclusively developed tyre because it's extremely important to us that the interaction between front and rear axles is always phase aligned and linear to one another. We achieved the high driving dynamic potential of the BMW X5M through the perfect interaction of the adjustable damping, the MX drive and the active roll stabilization. As a result, body movement is very low. We attach great importance to lateral dynamics. The control systems have almost no need to intervene here. When the DSC is activated, we ensure a very high level of safety, while in MDM, we allow more freedom. This also gives the driver the opportunity to experience the limits and even go beyond them. Steering performance is particularly important to us, so there are two different steering characteristics, comfort and sport. Drivers can choose which one they like most. The X5M definitely doesn't miss out on the fun. The Nürburgring Nordschleife is pretty much the most challenging terrain for a high degree of friction that you can expect for such a car. We drive in sports mode, which we've tuned especially for the Nordschleife. On this track you really have all kinds of load conditions. Strong distortions, corners, downhill, uphill. The X5M is confident in every one. We're currently driving with DSC switched on, which means that we have maximum support from the control systems and yet no restrictions whatsoever. The vehicle drives the exact line and supports the driver to accelerate optimally out of corners. The advantages of the M carbon ceramic brake come into play on this section of the track. You can brake extremely hard here, turn in very late and have maximum braking performance even after three quarters of a lap. And one lap on the Nordschleife goes by so fast that unfortunately it's already over. You really have to take your hat off. This vehicle is unique in its class. We all have petrol in our blood. We all have the same passion. We just enjoy developing such an amazing vehicle in such an amazing team. I am very happy and grateful, and I think that's how everyone who works at BMW M feels. We've all turned our life stream and our hobby into our profession. Our goal is to be best in class. We simply want to be the one that everyone looks at and says, yes, that's the best, that's what we have to beat. That is our goal. To read in the press about a good result and a goal achieved is the greatest praise for every developer in our company.